Hey guys, this is Faith and welcome to Spiritually Fly Sequences. Today's Spiritually Fly Sequence is a detox yoga practice. Before we jump into our full arm practice, I do want to show you a very special breathing technique that we will use throughout the practice. So let's get started. Come into a comfortable cross leg position. And what I'd like for you to do is to first breathe in and out through your nose. Just allow the breath to flow smoothly. While you do that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this very heated and fiery breathing practice. It's called Kapala Bhati breath, and it's the skull shining breath. It also creates a lot of heat. Now, the reason that people call it the skull shining breath is because you will feel the energy move from the depths of your belly, rise all the way up through your spine, and it actually creates a sense of clarity. So what will happen in this entire process? Practice, not just through the breathing practice, but our entire yoga practice. The goal of the detox is to detox on a physical as well as emotional and mental level. Really clearing out the cobwebs, getting rid of the stuff we don't need, and fully detoxing. Now the other benefit of this breathing pranayam and or pranayam is breathing practice, is to, of course, create heat. You will feel the heat start to turn in your belly and we will ignite the muscles in the belly to generate that heat through the breathing practice. Now, when this happens, the heat generates, starts to spin and turn in your belly and that actually creates fire internal fire. That internal fire will in actually create heat and that heat will flood through the entire essence of your body as well as I talked about moving to the crown of your head and clearing out the mental cobwebs. So now that you've had time to kind of understand what we're going to do, let's jump into understanding the pure elements of Kapala Bhati breath. Some people will also call it fire breaths because it creates heat. Now, sitting in your comfortable seat, I want you to think about how a dog actually pants, right? When a dog pants, he goes, <laughs> right? And his tongue is actually sticking out. But in this breathing practice, we are not going to do that. We're going to keep our lips sealed and we're going to take the belly and actually pump it. So when you exhale, the belly button is going to come into the spine really deep. And then when you inhale, there's a slight release of that. But it's going to happen really fast. You have to find a pace and a movement that feels comfortable for you. Also, you want to think about not just inhaling. You want most of your thoughts to focus on the exhale, the pumping, the belly drawing in and forcing the air out. Okay? Everybody got that? So, passive inhalation, powerful exhalation, Belly's pumping and it's moving fast. I'll demonstrate it really quickly. First, we'll go slow. Deep inhale, exhale, and then you begin pumping. Now I'm going really fast, but I'll show you in a slow movement. And if you notice, my belly is pumping in. Each time I exhale, the belly button comes towards my spine and the air shoots out. All right, so that's the breathing practice, Kapala Bhati breath. Now, when we start to move through our detox yoga practice, we will utilize this particular breathing practice. There you have it, Kapala Bhati breath. And now let's jump in to our full on detox yoga practice. All right, let's get started. We're going to begin in a comfortable seat. Now, I am actually going to take a thunderbolt pose. However, you can actually come into a cross leg position. Really find the position that feels best for your body. And make sure your shoulders are right there over your hips. You feel the crown of your head rising towards the ceiling. Take the backs of your hands, place them on your knees or your thighs, and the palms are floating up. Simply breathe in and out through your nose and feel free to close your eyes while you sit here. Breathing in, 
Will the spine grow long and as you breathe out, exhale, relax the shoulders. Now this particular detox practice is perfect for doing first thing in the morning to kind of get the body heated, warmed up, and also to find a little focus in the mind. But also if you're feeling sluggish, you have a couple of things in your head that are spinning around, or you just need to physically purge and detox a little bit, this is great. Take a deep breath in, exhale. Go ahead and open your eyes and wherever you are seated, I want you to find that Kapalabhati breath that we used and learned earlier. Take a deep breath in, feel the crown of your head rise, and then slowly exhale, twist to your right. Now when you twist to your right, drop your right fingertips behind you. Don't lean back into it, keep the spine long, and your left hand can simply come to your knee or thigh. Gaze over your right shoulder if that's comfortable for you, or just look at me here and take a deep inhale, exhale, enjoy the twist. And then inhale halfway, just a little, and begin a round of Kapalabhati breaths. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, twist. And slowly release, come back to your normal breathing, your ujjayi breath, and pause. And I want you to just feel that sensation that we're creating right here with the breath and a simple twist. One more. Now let's take the same thing on the other side. Breathing in, exhale, twist to your left. Drop your left fingertips lightly behind you. Inhale halfway and begin pumping. center. All right, we're going to keep our same position. Breathe in and lift your chest, float the arms high to the sky. As you exhale, you're going to twist to your right. Place your left hand on your knee or thigh, sweep your right arm behind you so you get a deeper stretch across your chest. Inhale, float the arms up over your head. Exhale, twist. Right hand comes to the left leg. Left arm sweeps behind you, palm is open. Inhale, arms up, fingertips to the sky. Lift your chest, arch back if that feels good. Exhale, twist to your right. Left hand to your knee or thigh. Right arm reaches back. One more. Inhale, reach your fingertips up. And exhale, sweep the left arm back. Inhale, come back to center. Now, if you're in your thunderbolt pose like I am, you can add this on. If you're in a cross leg position, stay right where you are and do the exact same twist. So here's what we're gonna add. You're gonna inhale, rise into your knees, sweep the arms high over your head, and as you exhale, sink the hips, sweep the right arm behind you. Inhale, rise into your knees and shins, reach your fingertips up, and exhale, drop your hips, left arm behind you. Two more times on each side. Inhale, rise, fingertips to the sky, heart open. Exhale, lower your hips back to the floor, right arm behind you. Last one, inhale, rise up. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, come back to center, reach your fingertips up over your head. Exhale, drop your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Press the palms together, and on the inhale, lift your chest up and open, and then exhale, fold forward from whatever seated position you're in. If it feels comfortable, take your pinky fingers up and over your head a little bit. Find a deeper stretch through your shoulders and your chest. 
Enjoy that simple little stretch in your lower back. One more breath. Inhale, lift the body back up. And then let's all make our way over to our hands and knees. Go ahead and bring your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Spread those fingers wide. Make sure that the tops of your feet are pressing into the mat. And first, let's just rock those hips from right to left a little bit. Just simple little breathing in and out, finding that ujjayi breath, gazing right past the tips of your fingers towards the top of your mat. And one more little swing to the right and left. Come back to a neutral position. Curl your toes under and straighten your legs for downward facing dog. Once you get into your down dog, find a little movement here, bending from right to left. Make sure you're spreading your fingers wide across the mat, thumbs in and pinky fingers towards the edge. And your neck is nice and relaxed, so you're gazing right there between your inner thighs. All right, straighten both legs. Inhale, rise into the balls of your feet. Exhale, press the heels to the earth. One more like that. Inhale, rise into the balls of your feet. That was a little crack. Exhale, press your heels to the earth. And one more. Inhale, rise into the balls of your feet. Exhale, heels to the earth. You're going to inhale, come forward into your plank pose. Bring your shoulders over your wrist. Now, if this is too much, you can always lower your knees to the floor. But if you're in our plank pose, make sure your hips aren't up too high or you're not sagging down too low. Right, right in the middle. Reach your heels back, gaze forward, draw your belly in, and we're just holding here, breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Deep inhale, exhale. One more breath. Let's all lower the knees to the mat, bend the arms right there by your rib cage, lower your chest. Point the toes behind you and you can lift your heart up for baby cobra. Belly still on the mat, elbows draw in. Or lift up a little bit higher for king cobra. Gazing forward, opening up the front of your body a little bit more. Draw your hips back to meet your heels for child's pose. Extend through your fingertips. One more breath here in child's pose. Return to your hands and knees, curl the toes under, and straighten your legs for down dog. On the next breath, inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. And as you exhale, slowly step your right foot between your hands. Now, if the foot doesn't come all the way, grab it and give it a little tug. Lower your left knee to the mat. Pause here and place your right hand on your right thigh. If you have a sensitive left knee, slide a blanket underneath it. Point the left toes behind you, lift your chest, and feel free to add on by floating the arms high over your head for low crescent Anjaneyasana. Relax your shoulders, palms are facing in. Take another deep breath here. And now we're gonna twist to your right. Left hand comes to the right thigh, and if you'd like, the right hand can come to your hip or reach down and grab your hamstring. Keep the pelvis coming forward and the crown of your head reaching up towards the ceiling. Let's take two more breaths here. Deep inhale, exhale. One more breath. Lower both hands down to frame your right foot and let's step back, down dog. Let's go right to the other side. Left leg floats up to the sky behind you and with grace and ease, exhale, step the foot between your hands. Lower your right knee down to the mat, heart forward, gaze up. Hold here, right toes can curl under, or you can drop the top of the foot to the mat, whatever feels good. And then go ahead and place the hands on your left leg. Pelvis is coming forward, heart is open. And you know, you can always lift those arms up to the sky, but keep the shoulders relaxed and palms facing in. Hold here for two more breaths, deep inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Drop it into our twist to the left side. Right hand comes to your left thigh, Left hand can come to the hip or drop it behind you. Deep inhale. Exhale. One more awesome breath here. Deep inhale. Exhale. Slowly unravel from the twist. Palms to the floor. Curl your back toes under and bring your left foot to meet your right. We're in downward facing dog. Both hips to the sky, heels to the earth. 
Transitioning out into plank pose, shoulders float over your wrist, gaze forward, belly to spine. Take a deep inhale, exhale, hold. Now we're gonna add on Kapalabhati breath here. You can always drop your knees. Here we go, gaze forward, inhale halfway, and begin pumping. One more round. Oh, take a deep breath in. Exhale, arms bend. Take your chaturanga or drop your knees and chest. Cobra pose or roll over the tops of your feet. Lift your heart for upward facing dog. Curl the toes, hips to the sky. Downward dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath in. <sighs> Exhaling out the mouth feels so sweet right now. Seal your lips. Inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. Come back to your ujjayi breath. Exhale, step your foot between your hands. This time, you're going to lift the body up and place your hands on your right thigh. Now, if you need to, you can always lower your back knee to the mat. If not, stay with me. Toes are curled under, gazing forward. Deep inhale. Exhale, right hand stays right there. One more breath. Lower your left hand down to the floor on the inside of your right foot. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Now if you need to, you can always grab a block and place your block underneath your left hand. It's up to you. For those of you that wanna get a little bit deeper, we are opening our chest a bit on this practice. So feel free to drop your right arm behind your back. Deep inhale. Exhale, gaze past your right shoulder and up towards the ceiling, only if that's comfortable for your neck. One more breath. Lower both hands down to the mat, slide your block out of the way. Framing your front foot, draw your hips back as you straighten your right leg. And you can even place the blocks under your hands here. Breathe in, lift your chest. Exhale, fold over your front leg. Two more like that. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold over your right leg. One more. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Gaze forward. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, your left leg is going to come forward, and the left knee and thigh are going to slide to the outside of your right foot. We're taking a seat here and prepping for a seated spinal twist. Now, the legs can stay exactly how I have them. However, if that's uncomfortable, straighten your left leg. Here we go. Take a deep breath in. Feel the crown of your head rise. And as you exhale, take your left arm to hug your right shin and gently twist to the right side. Your right fingertips drop behind you. Relax your shoulders and gaze back. Deep inhale. Exhale. Deep inhale, relax those shoulders. If you wanna go a little deeper, you can slide that left arm to the outside of your right thigh, but listen to your body, all right? Take another breath. Gently unravel from the twist. Bring your body forward, take your right leg behind you, just swing it back, bring your left foot to meet it. We return to down dog. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Float the left leg up to the sky, breathing in. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands, give it a tug if it doesn't come all the way. Right knee up or down, slowly lift your chest and place your palms lightly on your left thigh. Try not to lean forward, so keep your chest lifting up and extend through your right heel. Will the crown of your head rise? We have two more breaths here. Deep inhale. Exhale. Deep inhale, exhale. Nice, guys. Go ahead and lower your right hand down to the inside of your foot. Remember, you can place a block underneath your right hand as the left arm goes up to the sky. Feel that left hip drawing back in space and, of course, reach actively through your right heel. Feel the center of your chest spin up, and if you'd like, you can add that bind, dropping the left arm behind your back. 
Stay with the breath here, in and out through your nose. Crown of your head is reaching forward, last breath. Release the left hand down to the outside of your left foot. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, straighten the left leg. Inhale, lift your chest up a little bit. Both legs are straight and you're hanging out on the ball of your right foot. Exhale, fold over. One more, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, lift your heart up, gaze forward. And then as you exhale, slide your right knee to the outside of your left foot. Drop those hips to the mat and make sure that both of them Right, right hip and left hip are evenly rooted to the earth. Press down through your left foot. Right knee is bent, or of course you can straighten it. Take a deep inhale, feel the crown of your head rise. And exhale, wrap your right arm around your left shin. Wiggle your way into that twist as the left arm hand drops behind you. Take a deep breath in, exhale, relax those shoulders. We have a few more breaths here, so you can always gaze over your left shoulder. You can also slide your right arm to the outside of your left leg. Continue to press down through your left foot. Gaze over your left shoulder only if it's comfortable. And breathe. Be mindful not to put weight into that left hand. One more breath. All right, slowly come out. Nice. Sweep your left leg behind you. Bring your right leg to meet a down dog. Hips to the sky, heels to the earth. Inhale out into your plank pose. Shoulders come over your wrist, gaze forward. And we have that Kapalabhati breath once again. Right here in your plank, remember you can always drop your knees. Inhale halfway, three rounds of 10. Come back to your ujjayi breath. Exhale, arms bend right there by your rib cage for your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra pose. Exhale, curl the toes under, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Gently lower both knees to the floor. Bring your hips to your heels and float the arms alongside your hips for child's pose. We're simply going to pause here for a few breaths, and I just want you to give yourself an opportunity to let go, soften, and relax, right? We've been really firing things up. You probably already feel warm and a little energized, and this is perfect. But the really cool part about the yoga practice, sometimes you just need a little bit to kind of like awaken the body and clear out those cobwebs. Take another deep inhale. Exhale. All right, go on and lift up and join me. And what I'd like for you to do is to come into a comfortable cross-leg position. Now, if you need to, you can grab a block or take a pillow and sit on that. So I'm actually gonna sit on my block because I like a little height here. It helps to release any tension through the groins and the hips. The ankles are crossed, the knees are open out to the side. Now we're gonna take that Kapalabhati breath one more time, but when we do it this time, we are actually going to add a little more energy, right? We've been really stimulating things and sending it upward. Now we're really gonna tap into the full essence of the skull shining breath. This next posture mixed with yoga breathing, right? Our pranayama of Kapalabhati breath is called ego eradicator, right? Not only just like burning off any of our own personal ego, but I find that this particular pranayama kriya practice really, really supports the clearing out of the things that are no longer serving us, clearing out the cobwebs, and really opening us up to our our, our true light and our true essence. So we aren't getting caught up, right, in those little voices that are holding us back, but really we're giving us ourselves the opportunity to step into our full power without being attached to the ego.
It's this kind of like genuine place of being, right? And who doesn't want that? So here we go. You're going to take those arms high to the sky. You're going to take your fingers, drop them in towards your palms, and the thumbs are pointing inward. So the arms are almost up at a 45 degree angle, kind of like a V shape. And you're going to breathe in, exhale out of the mouth, <sighs> one more deep breath in, and exhale out of the mouth. <sighs> Seal your lips, inhale halfway, and begin pumping. Keep going, I'm right here with you. Extend those arms. We're burning off the stuff that is no longer serving us and we are opening ourselves up to the unlimited possibilities. Keep pumping. Now take a deep inhale. Hold the breath in, bring your thumbs together to touch, release your fingers, keep holding the breath, and then exhale, Ooh, let the arms drop. Bring the backs of your hands to rest once again on your knees, palms are facing up. Relax the shoulders, come back to your ujjayi breath. And just simply take a few moments to be in stillness. Breathe deeply in and out through your nose. Feel the heat and the fire that you physically generated from the belly and feel that energy rise all the way up to the crown of your head. Observe and notice the tingling and sensations maybe through your fingertips, the feet, the legs. And then, of course, take note and the sense of clarity and how easy it is now to find stillness. Continue to stay right here for as long as you like, absorbing all the benefits of your detox practice. But when you're ready, bring your palms together, rub them and create a little heat in your hands, and then take those hands, place them over your eyes, and allow that warmth to slowly seep in. As the hands fall, begin to open your eyes, and there you guys have it, a short and sweet detox yoga practice to help clear out, detox, and eliminate the things you no longer need on a physical and mental level. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon. Namaste. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, and of course, subscribe so you can receive more of my yoga, meditation, and lifestyle tips. You can also find and connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat, where I am Spiritually Fly. And of course, you can find me on Twitter, where I am Faith Hunter Yoga. Thanks so much, guys, for joining me here. And you know we are in this together. So let's continue to get Spiritually Fly.